In this series of videos, we're going to take a look at the program review process uh, for Merced College using the software eLumen Connect. And we'll be focusing on a lot of the instructional areas in these videos. But a lot of what we see in here is going to also apply to the non-instructional areas. In the first uh, video, you're going to look at and take an introduction, uh, see some helpful resources and links that are available uh, for doing program review and outcomes assessment. We're going to take a look at the interface within eLumen and see some of the different tools that are available. In the second video, we're going to take a look at the area coordinator tools. And in um, the last videos, we're going to uh, actually go through the process of updating program reviews for this school year for 2019-20 with data from the past year. And the last thing we'll take a look at is migrating your goals and objectives over to a planning summary. And this is going to rely on some tools that we see in the previous videos here. So our first step is to navigate to the eLumen website and from the college website if you click over here on faculty and staff and then um, scroll down a little bit on the left side over here underneath this login icon to indicate that you need to log into this you can see we have our link for the portal and we also have this link for the eLumen um, website and if you look down here you can see there is um, a public search of courses and this would take you to the um, catalog for uh, Merced College to see some of the courses whereas this one over here underneath the padlock this is the one that you're actually um, going to be clicking on to go directly to the eLumen website and I did want to point out down here on this side we have the assessment overview web page and this web page has um, more information about a lot of stuff um, involved in outcomes assessment and program review and if you go down to here you can see under the resources and helpful links there are some training videos that we've made for use with eLumen and this is going to get updated with this video series um, as they are created we also have some um, guiding documents for uh, the cycle from last year and this will get updated with some new ones for this year and then at the bottom of this page, you can see we do have some additional um, information about the general education program, which um, I would like to see some more people volunteering to work on this project, um, especially this thing, because we can actually assess our general education outcomes through Canvas and have the program collected. So as you're grading an assignment, you put one extra line onto your rubric that's associated with a general um, education learning outcome, something like communication or cognition, um, personal responsibility and lifelong responsibility. And if you score those in Canvas, we can actually collect all the information and um, get a summary of how students are doing at the general education outcomes um, throughout the campus. And again, this is gonna be a huge number of courses that are out there. But the trouble for Merced College has always been collecting that data for the GE program there. Um, there's also some videos showing you how to do this, and the process really does not take um, very long. And if you look on the bottom of this, you can see there are a variety of links to um, some of the previous information that was in the Assessment Review Committee, and also IPR SLOAC, the uh, Senate subcommittee out there. And um, at the very bottom, for those of you who need it, there are some more information about your cohort assessment trainers that are out there in case you're unsure who it is. Um, you can um, find out from looking at this little table here that was just updated recently. So if we navigate to the eLumen website, we go back to that faculty and staff site that you can get um, from this link that's on the top of um, any of these pages here, and then come over here and click on the eLumen site. And again, you're gonna be getting um, this little thing asking for your password um, and your username. Use the normal stuff that you would use uh, to log into uh, Outlook to check your school email here. So when we log in, uh, especially as faculty here, uh, it should automatically place you in one of the disciplines where you're teaching. And you can see that um, this first box over here is what's known as 
um, your role and so I have a variety of different roles here as a data steward I can come in and reset a lot of these roles for different people that are out there and when you change your role in Illumin it changes the different tools that are available and as faculty my assignment is in um, the biology department so that's going to appear here and um, different people that are out there are going to see some differences in terms of their screens based on their assignment but just briefly um, you can see that we can look at our uh, student learning outcomes and assessments in this little tab here and pull up things from uh, different semesters which means if you have data from a previous semester for a course assessment you can always go back to that semester and enter it back in here and finish off your report we've got our curriculum library and database here We've got Results Explorer that allows you to probe the data that is stored in the database in Illumin. And then this last tab over here is our Strategic Planning tab. And this is one where um, the terminology is a little bit different. The Strategic Planning involves Program Review. And if I come in here and go down to Program Review under the Strategic Planning and then this Initiative tab right here, you can see that we have some cycles and this will be changing every year as um, we start running some more cycles um, depending on the timing that is out there and so you can see from this we have our biology instruction program review from the last year that can be accessed by using that strategic planning tab and I do want to point out that some of the tools that people will be using are going to involve them coming in as area coordinators and so this is a higher level in the hierarchy that gives you some new tools and if you look at this one thing that you can see is the strategic planning tab moved over to this side sort of as an indicator that you are no longer in as your faculty or your staff role and the strategic planning with the initiatives have been moved over you can see there's also some additional tools here there's a planner that can be used. There's your initiatives that has your program review document. You can also come in and do some planning for assessments. There is the action plans that we'll be using more extensively this year because we're going to start planning out our goals and come up with a series of steps to achieve that. And then the RFI is a request for information. Um, this is a really interesting tool because it allows people who are setting up an action plan to actually come in and send out a request for information via email and ask people their opinion or collect some data from them that can then go back and be used in your action plan um, for what you're looking at there. Again, if we look at some of these tools available with the uh, area coordinator, you can see that in this case I am the area coordinator for area one, so the science um, math and engineering courses that are out there um, I have access to all of the programs um, within area one including some that we're in the process of testing out like earth sciences that are out there um, again we can look in the initiatives tab and the other difference that we can see is I now have access to all of the program reviews um, that were entered into the system from last year um, the budgets are a tool that we're also going to be using this year as we start to implement the budget categories so that we can collect all the budgets for the different departments, merge them together in the different areas you, um, with the faculty leads and the deans working together. And the nice thing about this is we'll be able to prioritize the budget items within Illumin and in the table that will come up here when the budget is entered, we'll be able to move the lines up and down and submit that prioritized list for the Instructional Master Planning Committee to rank everything from all the areas. And then this list is forwarded on to Cabinet um, basically during the end of the first fall semester and into the spring semester as the resource allocation process works out. Um, I did want to point out, in addition to the strategic planning tab over here with the budgets that we'll be using extensively there is this little thing over here known as the org management um, and when you look at the org management this is basically our organization and so we're in the area coordinator for area one and so you have access to a lot of the different tools available for the different courses that are out there but if you click on the profile now you see something that's a little bit different because here if you want to you can add a mission for your area but also notice 
as an area coordinator, you can be involved in the process of adding goals and then aligning those goals with the institutional goals that are out there. So the area one could come up with a set of um, ideas on we want to be here. You can start to come up with objectives that will demonstrate here's how we're going to get there, the steps that we're going to be taking. And then you can also align those goals with the goals for the institution and start to um, run reports to show progress that's being made at the institutional level based on the information from the different areas that are based on the inf information from the departments and the courses that are out there.